Hi everybody, it is May 12, 2018, so Google has just come out with their updated privacy policy, and it is essentially the same privacy policy that was announced a while ago. Oath, the media division of Verizon that runs both AOL and Yahoo, is finally unifying the privacy policy of its two giant legacy internet brands. Well, the privacy policy, the merger of the privacy policies between Oath, the media division of Verizon, Verizon, all of Yahoo's services and AOLs and other companies that use Oath services. Their privacy policies merged and I did a video on this and I looked on both of my channels, my backup channel, this channel, and I cannot find that video. But I went through the privacy policy showing you that nothing, nothing at all is private. They read your emails. They can use the information how they so wish. And the privacy policy, AOL, Yahoo, Verizon, just like most corporations now, this is ubiquitous in most industries. They mandate arbitration, taking away your right to sue in court, taking away your right to file suit in court and have that suit be heard by a judge or a jury. And I've posted videos on mandated arbitration showing you that there was a, a study conducted by Public Citizen, an organization that looks into these kinds of matters. But they did a study and found that 94% of arbitration cases favored corporations. Arbitration. Mandated? Well, if you have a uh, if you have a problem with Yahoo or AOL, if you have a problem with any of their products, Verizon products, the corporation picks the arbitrator the corporation picks the arbitrator. Did you hear a very strong conflict of interest there? This is this is the way that corporations have taken over. Only a few courts have recognized that this is grossly unconstitutional. Corporations do not get to decide for themselves the forum in which they will be sued. But this is what is happening today. And it's very, very dangerous. So Google comes out with their new updated privacy policy. And they are telling you that every bit of information that you input into the internet. If it's on YouTube, it doesn't matter. Google is collecting all of that information. Now, we all knew that this was taking place. Americans actually know that this is taking place. I had a conversation. I bumped into this neighbor here, and I don't know how we got to talking about emails 
but I said your every email is being read and it's being collected and it's being stored. What was her response? I don't care. I don't care. Americans. The motto. I don't care. Can you see that this is important? Can you see that this is manifesting a completely different world than the world that we had prior to this technology? And it's a dangerous world because when you have people collecting and storing and reading your emails, all of the information. So if I send an email to someone, it's not just my email that they are collecting the information that I've put into that email, but they know who is receiving that email. And then they read the response. And they're making profiles on every individual and should they want to use that information at a later date they have it they can use it think about pre-crime pre-crime if you're writing an email or posting a video or whatever it is that you're doing on the internet The pre-crime analytics, I believe, is already functioning. So let's say that you're writing an email to someone, and in that email, you may say something that is taken completely out of context, and suddenly you have the police knocking on your door. Oh, wait a second, this has happened already. They're showing you the world that is manifesting. They are telling everyone exactly the information that they're collecting on everyone. And they're collecting it from apps and all products. And you have no right. To privacy at all. Why would all of these companies update their privacy policies and these privacy policies are essentially the same and come out and tell Americans and people all over the world everything that you thought we were doing well, you were right. We are doing it. We collect information about the apps, browsers, devices you use to access Google services. The information we collect includes unique identifiers, browser type and settings, device type and settings, operating system, mobile network information, including carrier name and phone number and application version number, we also collect information about the interaction of your apps, browsers, devices, including IP address and system activity, crash reports, the date, time, and the referral URL of your request. We also collect the content you create, upload, or receive from others when using our services. This includes things like email you write and receive, photos and videos you save, docs and spreadsheets you create, comments you make on YouTube videos. They can come out now and disclose everything that they have been doing. They can now put it in print because they know 
that the American people don't care. Don't care. We're collecting your every email, those you write, those you receive. We collect information about your activity in our services, which we use to do things like recommend a YouTube video. The activity information we collect, terms you search for, videos you watch, views and interactions with content and ads, voice and audio information when you use audio features, purchase activity, people with whom you communicate or share content with, activity on third-party sites and apps that you use, our services, Chrome browsing history, if you use our services to make and receive calls or send and receive messages, we may collect telephony log information like your phone number, calling party, receiving party number, forwarding numbers, time and date of calls and messages, duration of calls, routing information, and types of calls. And you cannot tell me that they're not also recording everything that you say. Why can't Americans see how dangerous this is? We collect information about your location. Your location can be determined from GPS, IP address, sensor data from your devices, information about things near your device, such as Wi-Fi access points, cell towers, Bluetooth enabled devices. Right here, they're telling everybody, we got you. You can turn your Android devices location on or off, but do not think that because you're turning it off, you are now able to go about your business without Google watching you. Well, it, this is, there's no getting out of the net. We all got caught in this web. People still don't understand that Google, Facebook, Yahoo, all are government sites. These are not private corporations. It's government collecting all of the information about you. Because we are now living 1984 on steroids. And eventually, everyone is going to feel it. They're going to feel the sting. They're going to feel the pain. So start now rehearsing. 2 plus 2 equals 5.